Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to get data from a webhook URL every day. So first of all for getting a data from any place we are going to put a schedule by Pabli which will make sure that this workflow runs every day without fail. Then we are going to use API by Pabli which will make us use that webhook URL to retrieve data from there and then further you can send that data to any place or also store that in any spreadsheet. So in this automation that we are going to create using Pabli Connect our trigger will be trigger every day by schedule and our action will be get data from API by Pabli. So let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how can you retrieve information from any webhook URL and then further can send it to any way like you can store it in a spreadsheet or even send as a message. In this video we are going to learn that how we will send a message in Twilio about a weather forecast. So let us quickly sign in into our account. So that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now which will take us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as get data from webhook URL every day. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Like you can see on your screen, you have the main concepts of Pabli Connect over here, trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. So trigger is the application where the event will take place manually because we are going to make that change. When that trigger happens, this workflow will proceed towards the action application and it will perform the assigned action automatically. Here the trigger application is going to be scheduled because that is how we are going to put a reminder that this workflow has to run every day as the title says. Also, we are going to get data from webhook URL. So we are going to use here for an example, a weather API data. From there, we will retrieve the weather information and then send it further as a message via Twilio. You can send that message to anybody, like if you are in a company and you have to send weather forecast, or you can get that message sent to yourself. So you will get the weather updates on your SMS as well. So now let us choose our trigger application as schedule. Schedule is a feature built inside Pabli. It en enables a regular interval. So you have to choose the interval over here that when you want that workflow to take place again and again. We want it every day. So schedule it every day and set a time period for that. So I am setting up the time according to the UTC format. I'm setting the time that will make schedule by Pabli send a message to me at my time, but I'm sending it according to the UTC format. Click on save and here the changes are made. Now close this window and now we will use API by Pabli. Here is the API. Again, this is a feature by Pabli. From here, you can get data from an endpoint URL, which is also webhook URL. So we are going to put a link over here for webhook URL. Whichever data you want to retrieve from webhook URL, remember that you have to enter that webhook over here. So I will put weather API webhook over here. This is my weather API and no other changes are required over here. Simply click on save and send test request. Here you receive the response see it has automatically detected the location from where I am operating. It's this the place of the city and everything is given over here. The temperature and all also is given and also this data which is describing the type of weather. So we have received this data. Now we have to frame a message that will show like we are sending a message notification of this weather detail. So click on this plus button, add one more action step to it and you can choose it anyway. I am going to show how to send a message using Twilio. You can send it to a Facebook post, a WhatsApp message or any way you can store it in a spreadsheet as well. So let us choose our application as Twilio for now. The action event will be send SMS, click on connect and add new connection. I must remind you that you have to open your Twilio account on the other tab so that you can fetch the information in order to connect your accounts. Now because now you need for your new connection account SID and authorization token. You will also be needing your Twilio number as well that is given over here when you scroll down from your landing page. So copy this SID from here and paste it in their respective places, which two places are required. Then we have authorization token, copy this one and paste it over here. Now click on save and your connection will be established. So there are three important things that you need to enter over here. The body of the SMS that what is the data you want to send. Then the sender's number that we will be pasting from here. So copy it and paste it in your workflow. Here, this is a static number and this is not going to change. Now the recipient number for where you want to send the message to. If you want it to yourself, then you can enter your own number along with the country code. Like over here for me, it's plus nine one. Or if you send it to somebody else, then you can enter that number as well. 
Now body of the SMS. So let us frame the body. Weather details for what date. So you can just so you can just type in the search and map data date, which will say forecast date. This is the date. Press enter and then enter details like temperature. So temperature is how much? So if you want to enter it in Celsius or Fahrenheit, so Celsius and then put C after that. So it is very clear. Enter again type of weather. So then what is the type of weather? We had an explanation. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, and enter. So we have the basic details over here and you can also put the location. So I'm entering the location here, colon, and then enter the location over here. So this is done. I have entered the basic details like the weather detail of the date, the temperature, the type of weather and the location as well. You can change these, this body of the SMS according to your requirement. Now I will enter the recipient number along with the country code. So this is my country code and I will enter the number over here. Click on save and send test request and you will receive the response over here. So this is the response. And here you can see send from your Twilio trial account. This is the SMS that will be received by this number. So let us close this window and check our SMS. Have we received it or not? So this is the message that we have received over here. Send from your Twilio trial account. It is the same as shown in the response of our account Twilio response. So this is the message that you will be receiving after this workflow is scheduled every day. It will detect the weather forecast every day and then a message will be sent to that specified number. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.